Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Today, we're looking at Jeff's thoughts on New Covenant Theology. We are in the book of Joshua, chapter 21, verses 43 to 45. Here, there is a summary statement regarding the land promise. And it says this, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give to their ancestors, that is, Abraham's descendants in the Abrahamic covenant. And they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Now, this is a rem remarkable statement because we know that the Jebusites who were in Jerusalem were not conquered until the time of David, which was quite a bit later. But here we have the explanation or God's interpretation of his promise to Israel that he's going to give them all the land and give them a land which is at peace and their enemies are conquered. That is generally so, not literally so. But once again, so we, we, we are wanting to observe how God interprets his own word, and we don't want to impose our concept, our personal concept of fulfillment on Scripture. We want to observe how God interprets his own word. And this particular passage is a wonderful illustration of that. So if this has been helpful, check out more of Jeff's thoughts on YouTube, and there you can subscribe. Take care now. Bye-bye.